Welcome back to the Fathomless Missions YouTube channel. In this episode, Dan and I head out to the Mokes for an overnight trip, and the trip started with this beautiful sunrise at Omaha Boat Ramp. Give us a thumbs up. It is pretty hard not to get excited when the water is this beautiful blue color and there is bait fish everywhere. We do a couple of dives in the shallows and then head out to a slightly deeper reef. Dan takes the first dive and goes down to a nice ledge and as you can see there are a lot of fish milling around, some pink mau mau uh, and some other species. Before Dan sees it, the camera sees a flash of orange on the bottom of the screen. This orange colour belongs to a golden snapper. Golden snapper on the mainland are a bit of a rarity. They're not all that common to see as they are usually a deeper water fish. Dan finally sees the golden snapper and follows it down for a bit before getting a nice shot in on it. When Dan gets back to the surface, he tells me that he saw a second golden snapper down there. So I breathe up and take a dive. The depth at which Dan shot his is much deeper than I normally dive, but I managed to pull one out of the bag and get down there. It really couldn't have been more perfect. I saw it pretty quickly after I got down there, which was good because I didn't have a lot of time. I got in a nice shot and headed back to the surface. Dan, as he knew this would be a deeper dive for me, came down to meet me and see if I needed a hand with anything. On our way up, a school of kingfish came around us. Uh, we were obviously busy with my golden snapper, but it was cool to see anyway. We were both really stoked that we managed to get Golden Snapper. Just before we moved spots, Dan did one last dive and this snapper just swam straight up to him and presented a bit of an easy target. With these fish safely on board, we shifted spots to another rock nearby.
Dan found a nice ledge and quickly got a snapper off it. But there were a lot of fish hanging around and he thought it might be worth setting a burley on this rock. A lot of snapper came in on the burley of all different sizes and none of them seemed that phased by our presence. So we didn't shoot anymore, we just spent the next 20 minutes or half an hour taking turns diving down and looking at them. When we'd had enough looking at the snapper, we moved spots again and Dan jumped in to grab us a few more fish for dinner. There were plenty of snap around so he didn't have any trouble getting us another couple of fish by snooping along over rocks and ledges. After an hour or so, he hopped out of the water and we made our way to go and find an anchorage for the night. 
There's a cool lagoon out at the Moak, so we spent some time exploring the caves and the lagoon before we found an anchorage for the night. Once we were settled in our anchorage, Dan filleted up a couple of the fish and we cooked up some dinner. We've just finished diving and we've had a bit of a feed and now we're anchored up in the lagoon for the night. So we will see you in the morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. Daylight saving time ended last night. So um, we have an extra hour of diving in the morning, which is really nice. The next morning we didn't have any specific places we wanted to go or any specific fish we wanted to shoot, so we just had a bit of a play around in some of our usual spots, had a bit of a dive and looked at the sights. On our way home we stopped in at a rock halfway between the Mokes and Little Barrier. We thought we would see if there was any big kingfish there. There wasn't but we got a pink Mau Mau and called it a day. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube video. We really hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.